Hey friends, it has been a little while since I've been able to post, um, and that is because my fiance, my daughter, and I have all been moving. So we just got to our new house. Clumsy Goober, I still can't believe it. People are still donating. Millie and I talked about it, and we both want to honor the backers. Walls engraved with the names of all the all who backed in statues for the higher level backers all in a new room for the museum we're calling it the founders hall we want this to be a grand reminder of the people that have helped us get to the get to this point exciting things are happening clumsy goober well i hope i get a statue or some kind of name on the wall or whatever because i'm the reason the whole um museum is taking off but you know, we'll see. But anyways, um, my fiance and I were moving and we finally finished moving. And so we are hoping that, uh, well, I'm not hoping, I know that I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to record more and I will have, well, we already have better internet. So we'll be able to, or not we, I'll be able to actually upload easier because of having better internet it won't take me as long to upload a single video and um i have kind of a better setup than what i had uh before so i'm hoping that i'll be able to kind of just get back into an actual recording schedule and with doing so be able to actually stick to an upload schedule that'll make it easier for posting content for sure. Um, I do appreciate all of you who have been patient with me for getting my videos up because it's it's been a while and um, I'm trying to be consistent with it. I'm trying to post consistently but it's just been a struggle trying to get our old house packed and getting uh, getting everything ready for moving. It's it's taken a toll on us mentally and physically and we were just kind of exhausted we moved states so it was quite a bit of a move um but yeah we're all moved into the new house we still got some setting up to do and some unpacking to do but we're quite happy up where we have moved to so i'm excited for that um oh hey look our small coop is done Yeah, it's even been, it's been a while before I've even been able, or it's been a while since I've been able to even play any games, really. I just, I haven't had the energy to even just sit at my PC and play games, so I'm quite excited for uh, being able to get back to it because I've, I've definitely missed it and I've wanted to... I've wanted to be playing, but it just, if you know anything about moving, it takes, it takes a toll. It really does. So we are going to just finish up here. I think I've watered everything and now I'm going to figure out how to get animals for my coop because I don't, I don't know how to do that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, there's, so it's not that. What's this? No idea. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna head to Kenny's ranch because I'm thinking that that might be where I would be purchasing animals. Um, I'm not quite sure. Okay closed. Um, it's open 8 a.m. What time is it? It's, oh, are they closed on, oh, yep, closed on Saturday. Awesome. So <laughs> I guess we'll be trying to get, um, some animals tomorrow. Although that sign says available now and it's a cow. So hopefully, hopefully that's not all that's available, but let's take a trip over to the carpenters 
to see what we need for a barn. So we can see... Oh, they're closed too. What the crap? Of course, closed on Saturday. Okay, well... We'll be checking tomorrow, probably to see what we need for a barn. I'm sure we're going to need... One of my cats just started eating. Um, I'm sure we're going to need a lot of uh, wood, stones, um, probably some, uh, some ores or bars. Either the bronze ores are, or um, bronze bars or something. So we'll definitely be checking that out. I didn't realize that there were so many coconut trees around. I had only ever noticed them on the beach. So yeah, I never really realized that there were coconut trees other places. Coral tall coconut. And then that's just a coconut. Yeah, I didn't realize that was a thing. Well, I'm going to have to put those there because I don't have anywhere else to put them. I'm going to mute real quick while my cat finishes munching up. And uh, we're just going to kind of explore around and get back into the swing of playing Coral Island because I haven't played for a little while. I didn't realize we had another letter. Dear Clumsy Goober, how, how are you doing? I was leafing through our family cookbook and this recipe for clam chowder just fell out. None of us use this recipe often and mom said I can give it to you better than wasting it, right? Cheers, Noah. Oh, how sweet. This is something I really appreciate about Coral Island is that when you put stuff in here to sell, um, if you realize that you need it or like you didn't mean to sell it, it's still here. Like you can jump back in there and pick it up because I had completely forgotten I needed that uh, bronze sunflower for the temple offering for summer and I am very happy that I was able to just go and pick it up. So. Now all I need are blueberries. Um, no, not my insects, day insects. I, I can't ever remember what I need for the, the insects. Um, but yeah, I just, I appreciate being able to, to just, I wanted to go down to the diving pier. I appreciate being able to grab what I accidentally have put in there to sell. Um, because in Stardew Valley, it was just kind of, you had a very brief chance of getting back what you put in there. And, uh, if you didn't get it back in time, it just was sold and you had to wait for a whole nother time to get whatever you accidentally sold. So definitely something I really appreciate about this game. Ooh, we got an octopus. They, that is, it's so cute. I actually, um, I've seen people say that they didn't like the fishing in this game. Like, I think they thought it was too difficult or too hard. But I actually appreciate the fishing in this game. It's, it's kind of realistic where you're reeling in a fish and when they start fighting, you have to kind of let out the line. And it's not just simple, like, pressing a button over and over. Like, you have to actually fight to reel in the fish. I don't know. It's just something I appreciate about it as somebody who grew up fishing and I'm not like the world's greatest fisher by any means and I haven't fished in a really long time but it's something that I, I actually appreciate. Brings me back to when I would fish with my dad and my grandpa and brother and cousins so I like it. It's something I can appreciate. Okay, so we're going to sell some things. Um, I'm just going to sell all these coconuts. Um, this guy, that guy. Yeah, we're just going to sell quite a bit. The flyer. I don't know. I haven't sold. Okay, I guess I haven't sold a lobster, so we'll sell that. Or maybe I might need the lobster. I don't know. I don't know if I need that too. We will see. And I don't know if I need the 
the octopus for donating, but, um, or, well, I know I need it to donate to the museum, but I don't know if I need it for the temple offering, so I'll take a look at that. I'm just gonna quickly water our plants, and then, uh, I need to buy some more summer plants, but we're gonna quickly water the, these, and then, uh, maybe I'll have some. Doesn't look like I don't have any blueberries yet. Um, but yeah, we're gonna water our plants and then hopefully I stop interacting. That is one thing I really, really hate about this game is how it, like you get near an object and it says interact. I, I just want to harvest the plants and I want it to be easier for me to harvest the plants than what it is. It's really infuriating to be completely honest. So I'm just gonna do this so I can, and you shouldn't have to do this. Like you shouldn't have to remove and see, it's still not. This is the one thing that really just bugs the crap out of me when it comes to playing this game is having to be in the like perfect spot to harvest like you would think just standing right there you would you should be able to harvest what's ready and it just i don't know it's like it doesn't register so that is quite frustrating to me um hopefully when the game is actually fully released or in upcoming updates whenever they may be hopefully that'll be kind of sorted out that would be nice um but we'll have to just wait and see but uh yeah we're just gonna water our, our crops and then oh, why am i rewatering those um we're gonna have to go and get more summer seeds and we are going to have to, what is this? Oh, melons. And see, I just, it's frustrating because like sometimes it's perfect, it's great. And then other times it's like you're fighting to, to harvest your harvestables. Anyways, um, okay. So I'm going to head to the museum and donate what I need to donate from my inventory. And then we'll head to the temple offering and see what all we need to to put there for like I really don't know if I need lobster or not I'm not a hundred percent sure but we're gonna check it out and see and we're gonna get some seeds and hopefully we are going to get um, hopefully we're going to be able to get some animals today I really really want to be able to get some animals so we're just gonna quickly run and grab some seeds and then we're going to head back over to get to check out the ranch to get some animals. I'm probably not going to have enough shells now for getting animals. I didn't think about that until after I had already bought them. But hey, I can get Frank a bell pepper because I have bell peppers and that'll give me some money. So we'll do that real quick. And then, well, I'll head over to the ranch first and then see what um what animals are available for me to purchase and then after that drop off a bell pepper to uh to frank um oh i didn't realize i guess i wasn't paying attention but i have a whole nother food chest right there so these can go over and then i might make this my seed chest i like to try to keep things somewhat organized um, so I'm not like frantically trying to look for everything, but I didn't really start out with it being organized, so it's not, not really organized at the moment, but we'll get that fixed hopefully soon. I might just take a, take some time before, um, or I might pause recording and get everything in these chests organized and whatnot and then go from there. My cat just sneezed. Okay, I wanna, yeah, we're just gonna run over and see 
what we can get for animals real quick because I don't know how long. Okay, I don't know how long. Well, I guess I just found out how long it's open for, but I wasn't sure how long it would be open for. So I'm going to take a look. Animals. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't have money for any animals. Okay, harvest every one day, produces eggs every two days, duck eggs, wool, milk, the basics, but it looks like you're going to be able to purchase a lot of different animals, so that's actually really cool. Um, hopefully I'll get a decent amount for the bell pepper. I don't know how much he was offering to give us for it. So I gotta grab a bell pepper, find Frank, give him the bell pepper, and hopefully, hopefully it'll be enough uh, for me to buy an animal wrong button. Where's my map? Oh, over there. I have not played this game in quite some time. Okay, he's just at the tavern. So we'll get over there real quick, give him this bell pepper, and hopefully at least have 600 shells to get a chicken. I only got 80 shells, so crap. Wait for Pickstarter funded. I thought it was funded. Okay, well, we're not going to be able to get um, a chicken until tomorrow, so that's... A little bit frustrating but just gotta work with what we got I should have paid more attention to I actually should have just went and bought a chicken first and then gotten the seeds but that's okay so I'm gonna actually I'm gonna go to the lake temple see if I need this lobster or this fish I don't think I need the fish I actually think I already did everything I needed with this type of fish but we'll just take a look. We'll take a look and see. No, nothing. You hear my daughter. I don't know if you could actually hear it, but she's, I think, screaming at her dad or making sounds at him. It's kind of funny. Okay, well, I'm just going to sell this lobster and this fish. Hopefully the lobster is worth a decent amount of money. And I have some more mail. I'm actually selling quite a bit, so hopefully I'll get a decent return. Hey, uh, corn on a cob recipe is enclosed for my favorite farmer, not a grill master for nothing, huh? Oh, well, thanks, Frank. Okay, well, I'm going to plant this sapling real quick. I kind of want to be smart as to where I want to put it. I might just put it over here. Well, I say might. I'm I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna grab some fertilizer. I hope I have fertilizer still. As to where the fertilizer would be, I don't know because I didn't do a very good job of organizing everything and it doesn't look like I have any. What do I need to make it? I should have the ingredients I need, I think. I fertilize this area and then we'll plant this guy right here and then I still need okay and now we're just gonna water these and maybe after we'll head to the tavern and kind of see who's there and interact with some people because we didn't really do that yesterday well I made a decent amount of shells, but I also passed out on my farm because I didn't get inside in time, I guess. I'm assuming that maybe 1 a.m. is the time where you pass out. Um, in Stardew Valley, it's 2, so I'm so used to it being 2, but we'll see if I owe any money. You passed out last night lying face down, thought it was a dead body, scared the heck out of me. I found you pretty late. Hope you weren't staying up past midnight. Not good for ya. I had Yuri carry you home and make sure you're okay. Your medical bill should be attached. 
Okay, so I didn't actually get a medical bill, so that's great. Um, honestly, because I want to buy animals today, and I now have the funds to buy the animals today, or to buy the chickens. I might get one chicken and one duck. I think I should have enough for that. I believe the ducks were a thousand, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but we'll have to check it out and see once they open. So I'm going to go ahead and water my crops and I'll see you when I'm done. I had just realized when I was playing the night before this one in the game that uh, the local produce um, quest, you have to ship all of the bronze vegetables and fruits and I had been hoarding them so I just shipped a bunch of them and I have kind of completed a decent amount of the quest now. Um, but I'm going to stop this video here, it's gotten quite long. And uh, we're going to pick back up. It's uh, raining, so that's going to be nice because we're going to be able to either do some diving or do some mining um, to work on freeing the water giant, I believe, is the one that we're working on right now. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.